Welcome to a new learning session. Knowledge is money. Methods of tariff fixation. Cost-based approach. Market-based approach. Definition, price. Price is the value in rupees, that is put to a product, or service. It is the result of a complex set of calculations, research, understanding, and risk-taking ability. A pricing strategy takes into account, market segments' ability to pay, market conditions, like level of supply, and demand, competitor actions, industry profit margins, and costs of production, plus others. Price is the amount, that both buyer and seller, agree upon. What is the process of pricing? Pricing can be defined, as a process, of determining the value, that is received by an organization, in exchange of its products, or services. The main goals, in pricing. Pricing, for target return on investment, ROI. A fair rate of return on investment, in business, and market share increase. To meet or prevent competition. Profit maximization. Stabilize price. Customer's ability to pay. Resource mobilization, full use of manpower, machines, time, building etc. The four goals of pricing. Seven important factors that determine the fixation of price are 1. Cost of production, high or low. 2. Demand for product, high or low. 3. Price of competing firms, high or low. 4. Purchasing power of customers, high or low. V. Government regulation, controlled or free. 6. Objective or goal of company, profit. 7. Marketing methods used. Other methods of pricing. Pricing at a premium. With premium pricing, businesses set prices higher than their competitors. For example, brand new hotel. Pricing for market penetration. Much lower than competition, for first entry. Economy pricing. Low cost of production, so low prices. Price scheming. Very high initially, then lowered. Psychology pricing. 99.99, instead of 100. Bundle pricing. Package pricing. Room tariff fixation. Selling a room is like, selling space and time. Space is permanent and can be used again and again. But time keeps moving. If a room is not sold today, then income for that day is lost forever. Hotels have very high fixed costs, which must be met daily. Pressure on a hotel manager is very high, to make regular sales. The two major methods. Cost-based. Setting price of the room, by first adding all the costs of production, and sales, and adding a desired profit percent. Called markup, this method makes sure that hotel does not run in loss. Market-based. Setting price of the room, by first looking at the price, being charged by competing hotels. Then, the hotel also tries to make the price look attractive, to a buyer. Cost-based methods are, rule of thumb, and, Hubbard's formula. Market-based pricing methods are, as per competition, rate cutting, market tolerance, inclusive and non-inclusive rates, and, guest requirements based. Rule of thumb method. The English phrase, rule of thumb, refers to a principle, with broad application, that is not supposed to be strictly accurate, 
or reliable, for every situation. It refers to an easily learnt, an easily applied procedure, or standard, based on practical experience, rather than theory. Rule of thumb, for hotel rates. If a hotel has spent rupees, 1000, for making one room, it should charge, rupee 1 for tariff, per day. In the year 1960, it was rupee 1. Now it should be rupees 2, this is an experience-based calculation. Since this rate never changes, with change in time, this number may not be useful anymore. Hubbard's Formula A gentleman, named Mr. Roy Hubbard, in 1940, created this idea. Hubbard's Formula and P&L Statement What is P&L Statement? A profit and loss, P&L, statement, measures a company's sales and expenses during a specified period of time. The function of a P&L statement is to total all sources of revenue and subtract all expenses related to the revenue. Revenue minus cost equal profit it shows a company's financial progress during the time period being examined, generally one year. Understanding P&L Statement Sales revenue, or income from sales, minus, cost of goods or services sold, minus, total or specific general expenses, minus, depreciation expense, minus, interest expense, minus, tax expense, is equal to net profit. Inverted PNL statement is equal to Hubbard's formula. That is why the Hubbard's formula is also called as bottom up approach to pricing. It starts with net profit, adds all expenses, interests, insurance, depreciation, and tax. This is the revenue a hotel has to earn in one year if it wishes to achieve its profit goals. This total revenue is divided by total number of rooms the hotel expects to sell in one year. The result is net revenue per room per day. Unique idea in Hubbard's formula. A hotel earns approximately 65% of its revenue from rooms, but it earns remaining 35% from other outlets like F&B and laundry. Hubbard's formula suggests that, profit earned from other departments, must be subtracted from hotel room revenue, so that room rates can be lower, and attractive, to customers. In case a department is making a loss, then that loss has to be made good, from room revenue. Hubbard's formula demonstration In the following slides, Hubbard's formula is explained, step by step. Owner's investment, plus, loan from bank and others, is equal to total investment. Return on investment, ROI, per year, is equal to, total investment, multiplied by, fair rate of return. About 15 to 20 percent per year. Return on investment, plus tax, is equal to, Profit before tax. Profit before tax, plus, direct and indirect expenses, is equal to, gross operating income. Gross operating income, plus or minus, other department's loss, or profit, is equal to, total required revenue from room sales, per year. Total number of rooms, in hotel, multiplied by expected occupancy percentage, approximately 70 to 75 percent, is equal to, rooms sold per day, or every day. Rooms sold in one day, multiplied by 365, is equal to, total number of rooms, sold in one year. Total revenue required, or needed, in one year, divided by, 
total rooms expected to be sold in one year, is equal to, average rate, or tariff, per room, per day. Market-based pricing includes Competition-based, market tolerance, rate cutting, bundled pricing, and, guest needs-based. Competition-based pricing All the competing hotels, make a competitive set. Each hotel in the competitive set, has to consider, the actions of others to remain attractive to guests. Market tolerance basis. Every hotel offers, a best available rate, to callers, requesting same day booking. These are the lowest possible rates, acceptable to hotel management. A hotel can call up the competing hotels, to find out their BAR, best available rate, and then, maybe, adjust their own prices accordingly. Best Available Rate Also known as Best Rate Guaranteed, BRG, and Rate Parity, it is the practice, of selling the room at same price, by hotel and online travel agents, ODA. Galileo, a global distribution system provider, defines BAR as, a rate available to the general public, that does not require prepayment, and does not impose cancellation, or charge penalties, or fees, other than those imposed, as a result of a hotel property's normal cancellation policy. Rate Cutting The discounted pricing, especially during off-season, or, to compete for greater market share, is known as, rate cutting. Bundled Pricing Hotels may package prices as, inclusive, or non-inclusive, of some other product, or service. For example, meal plans and meeting packages. Guest requirements, or needs based. All guests have unique travel plan, purpose of journey, eating and sleeping habits. They also differ on the basis of nationality, religion, race, occupation and income levels. A hotel has to assess their situation, and offer a tailor-made rate, or package, to each guest, if possible. This will satisfy the guest, and help increase sales, of hotel product, and services. Compilation, and Presentation Praveen Jha, Senior Faculty, IHM Hajipur, Vaishali, Bihar